good girl. She's dead. Yo guys, what's rockin'? Um, welcome back to my channel and my name is Angeline. So today's video is going to be a makeup, hair and outfits video. So the makeup is um, commonly, the whole thing is actually commonly inspired by punk rock outfits and makeup that has been influenced to me by the famous Five Seconds of Summer, also known as Five Sauce. Anyways, I feel so punk vibe right now so punk vibe is the word I created to describe me right now because I just feel so punk vibe um anyways um this is actually just focusing more on like um the makeup and how I got the makeup look and then the outfit is specifically inspired by um Luke Hemmings of Five Sauce. He's actually my favorite member. Not really, but all of them are like so fun, but then like he's my favorite member when it comes to style and everything. So I'm going to show you guys the makeup tutorial, then we'll move on to the hair, and then we'll move on to how I got the outfit. Hey guys, so I just washed my face with Dove's beauty cream bar and I just moisturized my face with Avon's rich moisture moisturizer and applied some sunblock to my face to protect it from heat and I just combined a light shade of foundation to with a darker a uh, slightly dark shade of foundation all over my face and I'm I am applying it with a green slightly green makeup sponge it's dampened so that it can evenly apply the powder to my face and I'm just applying it to my neck as well and yeah just blend it in make sure it's even and I am proceeding to my brows because I think that I actually have to do my brows because it's an even and I have them I need to have them even so that I can do my eye makeup properly so I just uh, the brow product that I'm doing here is homemade. I made it with slight um, baby oil and so a dark, a combination of dark brown color shade eyeshadow with a black eyeshadow. And I'm just going for thick brows here. That's what I usually do, as you can see here. And I look weird with my hair like that in those brows. So I'm just going with a hmm, peachy color. It looks lime yellow in the camera but it's actually peachy i'm just applying it all over my lid to act as a primer type or the, the thing that would make the eye makeup amazing as i would like to prefer. so yeah that is what i'm doing it doing right now i'm just applying it all over my lid now proceeding i am just going to take a my eyeshadow palette again I'm going for a light medium brown color and applying it all over my face with the same brush that I, that I used to apply the peachy color. So I'm just going to put that to my crease. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just taking the um, with a darker brown and I'm applying, and I, I'm applying it with a slightly puffed angled brush so that it can actually evenly apply to the piece of my eyes so i'm just putting it above the um slightly medium color of brown okay so i'm just taking a light brown color here and applying it with the earlier brush that i used with the first shadow that i used and applying it on the like center lid part of my eyes to finish the look the eyeshadow look and I'm just proceeding with the eye uh, the gel substance again and doing a wing liner here I did it off cam because it would take so much time and I applied white eyeliner too to give that wide uh, eye opening effect and I'm getting a highlighter here to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and doing that the same doing and um, getting the same highlighter to put it on my brow bone to like emphasize and finish the 
um, makeup, I mean, my eye look. Yes. Let's just blend in and yeah. do some blending. And I have, oh, to finish it up, I am using Avon's Big and Daring Mascara to my lashes. I'm doing the other part, the one with thinner, like, what do you call this? Brushes, I think. Yeah, to my upper lashes. And with the lower lashes, I'm using the thicker part and the thicker part of the mascara. It doesn't matter what part you use, I just apply the mascara. And, um, I'm just doing a little, like, I'm just cleaning off the excess mascara. And I'm getting... Uh, eyelash curler here and just slightly curling my lashes not really curled curled just like slightly curling them okay so as you can see they're not really that curled curl, curl, curled curled so now I'm taking a dark the dark brown eyeshadow that I used to put in my crease to contour my nose because I have bad nose so I'm just gonna contour Blend in with a small blush brush, blush, blush, blush brushes. Okay, so that's it, and I'm just getting um, uh -huh, the light shade of foundation and putting it in the center of my mo nose, nose, and blending it with the same brush. But then it's cleaned up a little. Now I'm taking all the browns, the medium, dark, and light brown, to use it as a contour on uh, the contour parts of my face, which is the cheekbones, the jaw, jawline to make to give me that jawline, and then uh, the temples of my face. There, as you can see, and using the light foundation to highlight to use as a, um, I'm using the light foundation to highlight my face and I'm just getting a pink pink blush to even up the look and I'm not putting that much pink because we're going for a bad girl look here right and they don't really wear a lot of pink but then I decided not to be so like dark dark ish with my makeup so I put a little pink on there just like sneaking up the pink pinkness in there so now proceeding on the lips, I just applied some Labello lip butter to like set my lips up to prep them. And I'm just applying a red lipstick here. Well, yeah, just a red lipstick. I really like the color of this lipstick. As you can see, it's amazing. And I'm just getting a, yeah, so I'm just getting a napkin here and like pressing it to my lips. Then I'm just going to get a powder brush and applying the applying both combination of the dark and light um, powder and like mattifying my lips so that's how I mattify my lips and now I'm just gonna blend in the powder that went on my ch my, ch my chin so and I'm just getting that highlighter to highlight my cupid's bow pretty girl I've got your name got your number I've lost the keys to my dad's yellow hummer can't remember how I did it, but I got her now. She's mine. Damn, she's so amazing. Okay, guys, so that was it for the makeup tutorial. Moving on for the hair, I actually just want to uh, keep my hair like this. And then you know, I just wear like shades around. And by the way, if you're asking where I got these fabulous shades of mine, they're actually from Guess. They're from Guess, and they're amazing. Um, they're awesome. They're so stylish, and just love them. And if you're planning to like be stylish with your hair, then I suggest just like um because I have this brown section that I don't really like, so I'm just gonna turn that away. Like a like bobbin. Put this right here. It's my bobbin, so that I don't really like see. And then um, I'm just gonna get a headband. Um, a headband like this can actually like finish up your look to give it a more like punk rock this with like little spikes on it, so you can just wear it in however you would want. So I wear it like this, but then I would actually wear it, you know, the headband. And if you want, you could go with a bandana too, like Ashton does in, if your outfit is Ashton inspired. I didn't have black or red though, so I'm sticking with white. So you know, just how you actually um, tie bandanas to your hair, you just like tie them like this. And I'm removing the, okay, 
Okay, whatever. Right. Um, so I'm just gonna tie this back on going to like the left side of my head. Okay, so it's like just messy. I don't really like it. Ooh, and stuff. So we're just like that. Um, you can see it's like the wet banana there, and I'm just gonna wear like the shades that I've showed you, and this is such an amazing look. Um, yeah, I just love it so much. But then, um, like I said, I would want to prefer, I would prefer going without the, the banana, but then, no, let's keep the banana since it's right, right there. And the shades on. And by the way, um, during another tutorial, I can show you that I applied black eyeshadow above the first layer of lipstick that I applied after mattifying it with the powder. I applied um, black eyeshadow and then I covered up with um, another layer of the red lipstick. So this is the final look of my makeup. So I'm just going to show you. Pretty girl, I've got your name, got your number I've lost the keys to my dad's yellow Hummer Can't remember how I did it, but I got her Now she's mine, and damn, she's so amazing Hey guys, so before I leave, I just want to give a big, big shout out to Benaline, which is my friend in school that um, has watched my videos and told me, was like, she was the one who was keep on bugging me to upload a video and that I told her that I'm going to be doing um, a makeup tutorial and then um, she got into it and then a while ago in school I was wearing the same outfit hey, and then um, I was like how about if I do a blue steel style and I combine them in one video so thanks to her because if she wasn't bugging me I, it wouldn't be there wouldn't be a video like this so shout out to Benaline and I'll leave all her social medias on the down bar just like my social media so that's all guys bye